Alright. Welcome to me Iron Man on a Bike Review. Now then, I know a lot of people don't particularly like the kind of Captain America on a bike, Hulk on a bike uh, thing on a trike. You know, kind of idea. And I guess as an adult collector, I kind of didn't until I saw my friends, I think four year old at the time, playing with these. And he, he just thought they were great, they were amazing, the best thing in the world. It's Iron Man, who's like obviously ultimately cool, and a good, excellent motorbike. And I guess you kind of forget how things a appeal to children and things like that, and seeing him, I don't know, I, I enjoyed playing with him. That's probably wrong. Uh, playing like with. playing as a child, shall we say. Uh, in the same way that I enjoy kind of obviously playing with my children you know you kind of you get up to their level and you remember kind of how creative you used to be and things like that so it, you know it, it, it's humbling and also entertaining at the same time so this one i picked up probably about a couple of years back uh home bargains were selling them off i think for 199 and had like this one a quad uh like a little go-kart thing and I, I picked them all up for that kind of price i mean they're normally about 10 quid i think these and it's actually a pretty cool bike. It doesn't look that bad. Uh, and I guess if Iron Man is going to make a bike, then it's going to pretty much be pretty cool anyway. You know what I mean? It's going to have all sorts of things going on. Uh, this one does have an action feature. Mine's a little bit uh, gimpy. doesn't work that great. But you have this button on the back here, which you press down. And guns deploy. Or air gun deploys. And you kind of have to do that one yourself a little bit. So that adds an extra sort of player value because now it kind of looks like it has some kind of wings and stuff. So you can now got a flying motorcycle. Uh, and the Iron Man is removable. So, you know, you can't have him on the bike with his head swiveling and stuff looking around. But you can also take him off. And he is somewhat pausable once he's off. Um, he's <laughs> does kind of suffer from rickets somewhat. Uh, which is unfortunate but his arms do move up and down his head does like I say move and his legs do go in and out kind of thing um, which is actually more funnier than you think you know I mean you could kind of say that he's been zapped by a kind of rust rear or something and he has to walk about like that you know and that's entertaining I guess it uh, certainly makes me laugh when I see him do it so they're not like for kids these aren't bad for me i enjoy them for the kind of the playability and the the kind of the i don't know the creativity that you can put into them um and for 199 if you can pick them up for that kind of money then you certainly won't be ripped off uh yes can't wait for iron man 3 um he's quickly becoming kind of my favorite superhero mainly just because that with the way technologies move forward, he's actually become a lot more relevant now. So, thumbs up for Iron Man, uh, and thanks for watching, and I'll catch us all next time.